Hey guys, Rose here. Today we'll be doing episode 2 of our modded survival series. And you might be able to tell that that house is now finished. That will be our new home once we move in. Um, not, not much else has changed, but I made a bed. <coughs> so yeah, let's just go ahead and sleep through the night. Or not. And you may be wondering how I got this bunny. They're tamed simply by right clicking on them. And I'm going to tell you a quick story. So I was building that house over there. And a bunny decided to jump, jump in front of me when I was trying to place blocks. So I named it Bun Bun after a friend on the Minecraft server that I know. And their name is Bun Bun. Well, that's their Minecraft name at least. So I decided just to name it Bun Bun, bring it home, tell you guys that I didn't really want to tame it off camera. But yeah. So there's something else, these hearts of fire. They're quite hard to get. But of course there was a giant fire troll. And I don't know why I had two hearts of fire, but yeah. Just those kind of things that do that. So, can we sleep yet? Nope. Okay. So we still need to get some food and a zombie trapped inside. That one's different. Okay. So, it looks like the zombie was the only one, so we can try and sleep again. There we go. So they're just talking to us up there. Um, yeah. So, just a white little bunny, and I don't really want to use the bunny. Not many people know this, but if the bunny is on your head, you won't get attacked by mobs. The bunny will, and I don't want I don't want to hurt a bunny. And I'm saving those apples. We can grab those carrots though. We just need something to nom on. So this episode, I'm planning on working more towards. Mo creatures. I was switching between mo creatures and deto craft, but we don't actually have any lapis at the moment, so I might get that for next episode or something. We'll just see how that goes. <coughs> so yeah, we don't really have much dye or anything for that yet. So yeah. One thing that I am going to want to make needs another lever. So, actually before we go, there is one more thing that I would quite like to make. And yeah, so in Kill Fire Troll, slimes come out. And I managed to get six slime balls, which is pretty good. And flax fiber was just flax lying around, which I'll show you guys later. So if I use this, I believe this is the recipe, and I can make two leads. So I'm actually going to make four leads, and uh, so this way if we find any mo creatures creatures that we would like to tame, we can just hook a lead on and we'll take them back home. By the looks of it, there's a snake over here. So yeah, something we're probably going to do with this episode first is tame a couple of snakes. Um, there were no recommended names. I put it in the description last episode that I would appreciate some. So these names are just going to be completely random. They might not have any relevance to anything at all. And I believe that this is actually the flax that you saw of flax fibers. Yep. So when you rake them, there's a ton chance of them dropping their seeds. You can make their seeds by putting it up there, you get free. So yeah, that's just it, simply. So, I suppose that we would quite like a cow. Something else that drops leather is a horse. And there are probably other mo creatures, mobs, that drop leather. But if we find a horse, we might bring it back. Because that is something that we would have to do. 
Something else that we might want to do later is get an elephant. But at the moment, all I know is you can get them, but I've got no idea how. So that is going to be an interesting goal. And is that another snake? It is. It's a cobra. Sweet. We've got two cobra snake eggs. So we can tame them when we get home. And yeah. So I might pause this here and I'll come back once we've found some cows. So we'll be back shortly. Well guys, that didn't take very long. So as you can see, there's a cow. Just a vanilla Minecraft cow, nothing special about it. And it gave us a lever. No idea why I've only just got that achievement, but sure. And yeah. So if you guys are looking for any kind of animal, it's a little bit easier with this mini-map because you can follow the yellow and see what they are. I don't know what you are, so I'm going to kill you. Didn't drop anything. Okay. So, what we're probably going to do now is head back home. Which I believe is over here. So I'll see you guys when we get home. Alright guys. So now that we're back home, we might as well just have a little look around. Because the next thing that we would like to do is actually make um, a special Mo Creatures saddle. So if we can duck into here. Hello, Acacia the Butcher. You're named after a tree, most likely. Um, so yeah, we need five leather and three iron ingots. If you know about Mo Creatures, you probably know what I'm making. So, <coughs> put the lever in like a lever cap so it'll actually pop up and bright then we at the bottom just leaving only that space empty put iron ingots and you get this this crafted saddle look at it so this is used only for mo creatures and I'm not sure if you can use it for anything other than mo creatures horses but that is what we're going to be looking for next so I might take you guys on a little bit of a walk and then I'll pause it and bring the recording back when we're back home with some more creatures horses. So pretty much this episode is probably just going to be horse taming, snake taming, a few things like that. And we might have some pumpkins so I might be able to get some horse breeding done. But the chances are we won't be able to do that one. So yeah, I'll be back once we've got some Mo Creatures horses. Yep. So guys, I know I said I'd come back when we had Mo Creatures horses at home. But these are donkeys from regular Minecraft, so I'm not gonna bother with them. Because they're not they're not for the best in the world, neither are my creatures horses, but that's what we're looking for. So this time, hopefully, I'll be back when we've got my creatures horses. Just our luck. More regular vanilla Minecraft horses. That skeleton just hit one. Sorry guys, sorry for that little bit of lag. I guess we just these are quite pretty horses, but I'm just going to murder these cows, and then we'll keep looking. Okay guys, I'm probably not going to do any more pausing when we find vanilla horses, I'll just keep track, and that's an elephant. This is something that we will want later on. So, I suppose we can bring the elephant back, come on. Apparently I'm very strong, but again I can punch logs out of trees. So I might bring this one home. Of course it's setting, the sun is setting, sorry. But yeah, I'm just going to bring this elephant home and then, well, we can probably do some snake taming and I might look up how to tame an elephant. 
So yeah, I'll be back when we're at home. I guess. Hey guys, welcome back. So I actually managed to find two Mo Creatures horses on the way back. They're just up that hill. So yay for one. And I suppose the first thing that we should do is just tie them up, really. So I'll Yeah. So now that we're here, I'm actually going to go ahead and push this one over here so I can show you how to tame a mo creature's horse. So first thing, you don't need apples. And I'm not sure how much the minimum of maximum amount of apples is, but let's do this. So that one was only one, and I'm going to name it Spirit. So here we are. This is this is Spirit. Just jump over the fence area, and I put a little fence hiding right over in this corner for precautions. And for this one, um, sorry about that. For this one, we might name it Stallion. And we don't actually have a saddle for a Stallion yet, so we'll just have to leave you tied up there whilst we go ahead and start our snake hatching. So, yeah. So pretty much all you need to do is right click. And I'll, let's go with free for now. And that should be all we need. Well, it's not really a matter of need, it's a matter of want. Because we don't want too many, but we also don't want too few. So, I guess we just have to wait around, wait for them to hatch. Oh, there's one, let's name it Slytherin. For you Harry Potter fans. The next one, we can name it Snappy. I have no idea, I'm not good with names. And what about you? I accidentally picked that one up. Okay, so I guess we'll only go with two. And I'll show you around the new house. So I haven't actually got a door yet. But this is the bottom floor. It's just a nice simple kind of thing. We could put a chest there. Or a deco bench, maybe. And no, I didn't go to the nether. I went ahead and I stole it from this building right here. I stole it from their fireplace. So I could use it to make my own. And it was just a simple stairs. Another little bit of uh, fireplace up here. And yeah, it's meant to be a bit more modern than anything I've built before. So yeah, I've just got a nice little roof. Even got a chimney there. Sorry, I was in the grass a little bit there. So yeah, that's that's the house. I've also been breeding away with these sheep. I keep sharing them every so often. And they do give you a good amount. And now we've got a horse and two snakes in here. So I've got no idea if the snakes are going to attack the sheep or anything like that. Did you just grow back your wool as soon as they shared you? That's interesting. So yeah, just snip all of these. And then I got approximately 26 wool. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just had to sneeze. I'm probably not meant to sneeze when recording. 29 wool actually, because the three were just picked up. Now something that I would quite like to do is start on a little bit of Pam's Harvest Craft. So, yeah. We have some tomatoes, bell pepper, 
cantaloupe, anything else? Probably missing a bunch. And I'm going to play this smart and create an apple sapling. So pretty much just an apple and a sapling with this. And when, when you plant it, it'll grow and it will grow apples on it. Here we are. So an eggplant seed, cantaloupe seed, a bell pepper seed and three tomato seeds. So I'm just going to go ahead and knock out this farm right here. And we'll probably start... Oops. Nothing happened. Okay. Nothing happened. And I might as well knock out this one as well. And it planted cantaloupe, it can just grow next to each other, and we'll have this entire one full of tomato. So I do have some bones. So, yeah, you right click them, they give you some more tomatoes. So I probably have a bunch more bones inside. 26. So I'm going to work on these farms and then I'll be back. Alright guys, so I filled up the garden and yeah, so you can just bone me all them. As you could see before, I wasn't breaking them to get the tomatoes, you can just right click. And that works with, I believe, every Pam's Harvest Craft thing. I'll just start their growing systems going like that. So yeah, we've got a few plants growing. I have got a couple extra seeds. And a packed inventory, so... I don't really have much room in this chest anymore, but yeah. <coughs> so I'm thinking that... The next thing we want to make is, I was having a look at that before, a deco bench. And how do I get this blue dye is what I want to know. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Blue bells, okay. <coughs> so we can have a little look around for blue bells then. Because if we can get that and it works with it, that is actually going to be very helpful. Because then we don't need to go mining to get lapis. If a quick look around, I don't see any. I know I'm giving up quite quickly. I'll get some of that, or lapis even, maybe off camera. And I'll probably have to wrap up this episode now. Actually, before I do, I'm going to do something that, honestly, I just about forgot. We had two subscribers in the previous episode, and I said I'd give them a shout out. So a huge thanks to JoJam188 and Rose Kitty. Yep. So that's probably about it. So leave a like, comment, share, and maybe even subscribe for some more. Um, Special thanks to Bun Bun. I don't know if you have a YouTube account, but if you do, yeah. So, next episode I'll have probably a little bit more food going on. The gardens would have grown a little bit more. And, yeah. I also might do a little bit of horse reading off camera, but I don't really want to do that, so I probably won't. Always a possibility though. And I will find out how to tame those elephants. And I'll probably also make Stallion the Saddle. Here's just a list of things that I might do off camera. I might make a farm. It's better than the village farms. I might I might do a bunch of things. So yeah. Once again, if you decide to subscribe, please comment down below that you have subscribed. Give you a shout out in the next episode. And I'm not sure if I want to do these episodes every weekend or not. It could be daily, I don't really know. As soon as I start influencing more series... Is it series or series? 
Anyway, as soon as I implement another series, we might have to change up the schedule a little bit. But at the moment, if I decide to, I'll make them daily. If not, they'll be weekends. And yeah, so... I'm thinking of starting up some custom maps, some just basic mod reviews. Maybe even just some vanilla or some Pixelmon added in. Actually, that's quite a good idea. I might do a Pixelmon series. I mean, some custom maps. I'll be doing all sorts, so if you don't want to see more of this, don't worry, there will be more coming. So, I'm just going to repeat this one last time as I end the episode. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you subscribe, leave it down in the comments that you've subscribed. Leave ideas for future animal names down in the comments as well. Also, tell me what you want to. Tell me what you want me to do with MCA Minecraft Crumbs Live, MCA for short. And yeah. Also, if you have any other recommendations for other series that I should start, then please go ahead and leave them in the comments as well. And yeah. Have a great day, guys.